What's up, you two? Come with me. Let's go pick up some 93 for this bad boy right here. I finally got the truck figured out temporarily, and I'm going to explain this. Um, but it had been working so far. It's just a weird situation. I've been going through this for like the past month or two. As you can see, we got a whole rat nest and stuff. But I'm going to explain um, how I got this truck cranking. And she started up right on the dime. The only thing I have to do is just get some O2 sensors. I probably should have ordered it, but I didn't want to spend no money if I knew something, you know, was going on with this truck. So uh, I'm finna go get some Octane. Well, some 93. Put her in. See if she run. I put the truck in reverse. I felt it lunge uh, backwards, but I didn't go through all the functions and stuff. We're going to have to check our trans fluid and all that. Uh, and I'll probably just clean up everything and just go from there. So if this truck moved from this spot to another spot, then we are in a good direction. So guys, this is a temporary fix. I done bypassed the safety neutral switch. I, um cut the green dart wire from pin uh 86 on the start relay towards um going straight to the battery the truck startups fine uh, the truck was thinking that it was in second gear so it wouldn't allow me to start but by me bypassing it and me having the proper 12 volts and stuff the truck starts uh but until i get to the tuner i get it sorted out and all but man uh this had me excited um i have to end up cleaning all this wiring and stuff up uh, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation like it's indicated in a second but it's on part and then mind you this is a new uh park uh range sensors uh what well, the safety neutrals i had about two of them changed them out i don't know if i need like the ac delco y'all let me know um below and all and yeah, that's just pretty much all right guys so we got fresh gas in got some 93. um why don't you start up on a dime nothing like i said i'm going to need my o2 sensors and stuff too so yeah well it died when i put it in reverse let's start over again let's see Shit, she's backing up. She is backing up. All right, now I'm gonna go for it. Ah, she died. She died on me. All right, guys, so I finally have it moved. I don't think it's gonna run right if we don't have them damn O2 sensors or whatever. Um, I do not, I'm not running no O2 sensors right now, so it's probably just stalling it out. Um, y'all let me know, but she cranking up just fine, like no issues or nothing. I mean, we kind of got some smoking stuff, of course, but and I was supposed to be. <sighs> Not want my turbo to get too hot either. It's gonna be pretty interesting. So we uh, I got to buy some O2 sensors right about now, as soon as I drop this video. So, hmm, <laughs> and it's. Let me see something. She starts. She starts. She starts right on the money. White nothing. White nothing. guys when i conclude the video the truck uh goes in reverse drive and smooth i ain't tried the other gears yet uh but once we get the o2 sensors because we not having it it's not gonna run right because it's tuned to have two o2 sensors um but i don't have none at all so it's acting all funny and all that so once i get o2 sensors it should you know be running smooth and stuff and i know y'all can agree with that uh, but she sounds good and amazing, and she started up right on the dial. Let's do watch this.
I was supposed to turn it off too because you got like that uh, the oil cool off the turbo too so don't just directly turn it off and all that but I heard a little bit of the sound like shh, shh. they was sounding so good <laughs> I just can't wait so I'm about to order these O2 sensors I hope I get the right car. well I gotta get a bong I got an O2 sensor right here and I got a harness I think I just gotta get the bong so we can weld at that top side. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We just gotta weld that. And then I need to get a 90 degree um, bong because I could put one in for the top bank, but it's not working because this thing is too long and too big. So I'm gonna have to get like a 90 degree one or something. But dang, that's gonna be another week. I probably should have been ordered it, but I was just so skeptical about this truck. And I've been kind of putting it off to the side, but I said, no, man, I can't let this thing beat me. And I cannot let it defeat me. So I'm really excited, man. This thing cranks up on a fucking dime. Do you know how excited I am? Like, I missed, like, July, I missed the whole trip just to get this truck started. Didn't get it started. Been fiddling around with it. Man, it feels great. I just got up. I said, you know what? I got to get it done. Because I'm trying to tow with this truck so I can tow my other cars. So I'm going to tow my Mercedes to a dealer. And then I'm going to get start, start working on my Porsche and stuff too. So I think that's pretty much it. And uh, I'm going to get off. I'm going to tidy up all my wirings. Make sure everything is good. Um, and all that. Um... I was going back and forth to see why this car was no crank, no start. I'm thinking it was like some shorted wire. I ended up doing all my grounds and all that. Even thought the ignition switch, but I said, no, it can't be. I said, I got to use some common sense. So I tested the wire from the part neutral switch. I was getting power in, but I wasn't getting it out. And it was just weird. Y'all let me know, like, it's so weird. I did a 4L80E swap and it's indicating it's in second on my little scanner. You know, so it ain't sending power to us, but as soon as I, you know, bypass it, she goes in neutral and all that, reverse and all that, like just fine and stuff, which is crazy. Um, I don't know, man, I'm excited. I'm just, I'm just speechless right now. I really am. I'm gonna clean up this truck. It's got me excited now. Got me so excited. That's why I wanted to have like a switch or something for it, but I might just leave it as is. But like I said, I'm gonna tidy all this wiring and stuff up. Um, make sure everything else is pretty much good. Um, that thing sounded good though. I heard it, I heard it like shh. 